All right, thank you, Rick. Now let's go further up Pit Road. Here's one of the real fascinating stories of this weekend, and Jack Root has the details. Gary, right behind me, Buddy Lazier is undergoing his second stop of the afternoon. Lazier is very thankful that he's in the race because, come here, look at this. This is the nose, all that's left of it, that he had on the front of the car when it crashed yesterday in practice. Now, you might say, no big deal, you can just replace it. Well, the problem was they were in such a rush to secure sponsorship, they built up a show car and used their last nose on the show car, came to Australia only with the nose on the car. So here's what they had to do. They located a nose in Las Vegas, Nevada, late yesterday afternoon. They took a friend who lived in Las Vegas. He picked up the nose from a, a collector. He carried it in his hands by air to Los Angeles, California. They then tried to put it on a United Airlines flight. Unfortunately, the flight had already departed for Sydney. The people at United Airlines called Qantas. Qantas said, well, mate, our flight hasn't left yet. They rushed the nose over there from United. They literally took the brand new nose, put it in coach, I hope, strapped it in a seat, and flew it over here to Sydney. From Sydney, it made its way to the airport here in the Gold Coast, and then a helicopter was dispatched, and the nose was delivered at 9.30 this morning. Attached to the car, just in time, for Buddy Lazier to make take advantage of the final practice before the start of this race. I guess you could say that Lazier is in this race with a little help from his friends. Buddy Lazier currently running in 12th place, so it was most certainly worth it to get that car into the action here today. Besides the cost of the nose, think what it's worth today, Paul. I'll tell you what, just a, a coach ticket over here can be something pretty expensive. Ask Jack Root, he ran up a whale of a bill trying to get out of Atlanta. You know, we went through the Atlanta airport, which you did not last week, right in the middle of that blizzard. And there were, what, several thousand people sleeping overnight in the airport. I can't tell you how happy we were when we touched down in Sydney, Australia. At the front of the field, it is this car, 